Hello beautiful creatures, welcome back to my channel Fira. If you're new here, my name's Cordelia and this is Nyx and this is Amaya. They're my beautiful standard poodles. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this outfit and my hair and my makeup. I am getting ready to hang out with my friend Mickey. You've probably heard me mention him before. He's one of my besties and we've been friends for a long, long time. We met at an Urban Decay event down in Miami in 2015 and um, We've just kind of hit it off and have been friends ever since. So I love days when he gets to come over here and, and hang out with me and Dave. Um, his partner is joining us today. We're going to be watching a movie, chilling out, and catching up on things. About half the time when we hang out, we're just in like pajamas, being very chill. And the other half the time, we do makeup and have fun. I thought I would just make myself look really pretty and glowing today so he can be surprised with makeup because he does love makeup as much as I do. So let me zoom in so you can see this finished look up close. I use lots of sugar pill products to create this look. So if you're into fun, multi-chrome berry looks, just keep watching. I've already tight lined my eyes with the Nabla Cupid's Arrow number no. six, which is their midnight blue. And I put on my Concrete Minerals Glitter Eye Primer because that's my like go-to eyeshadow primer these days. I'm going to use a new to me product, which is the P. Louise Acid Rain Liquid Eyeshadows. And this is what it looks like inside the tube. The color is called Glow Girl. And I'm just dabbing the top of my Sigma E27 brush on this to get it damp. And I'm going to apply the P. Louise Glow Girl all over my lid, crease, and lower lid as my base color. I bought three of these P. Louise liquid eyeshadows or cream eyeshadows because I personally love working with eyeshadow paint. Back in like 1999, 2000, MAC Cosmetics had these eye paints and I had the red and the purple and the black and I love the hell out of those things. So anytime I see a liquid or cream eyeshadow, I'm always kind of looking and wondering if it's gonna have like that same feel and vibes. This is my first time using these P. Louise eyeshadows so I don't know how they were throughout the day but I find them very easy to apply to my lid and blend out. I'm taking a flat definer brush and I'm gonna put this along my lower lid. As somebody with hooded eyes, you'll notice that I have a lot of excess skin right here at the outer corner of my eye. And I'm always sure to bring my color past that because that lets me um, create a more pleasing eye shape to my personal taste. I'm going to take the acid rain color Ibiza, which is this very soft, light, almost pastel purple, and I'm using a Lethal Cosmetics pencil brush, which is more like a, this brush is very, more like diffused to me. It's not quite as tight as a normal pencil brush, but that's okay. I'm using this to create a very strong transition shade around the outside of Glow Girl. I'm going back with the same Sigma E27 and whatever's left on the brush because I'm not adding more product and just blending where those two colors meet. I'm using the Sugar Pill Anniversary Palette and I'm gonna take the, the Sugar Pill color Pill Kitty and I'm using a Sigma E54 medium, medium Sweeper. And I'm packing this color on top of Glow Girl. Made Addicted to Pretty in the Sigma E36 brush. And I'm going to start using the Sigma E36 to blend on top of Ibiza. Typically they say with hooded eyes you shouldn't use sparkly shades on the hood of your eye, but I am breaking that rule because I think it's going to look really pretty. I'm using my Skin Tone Shade Powder, which is Fenty 105 and it Cosmetics uh, 105 or 149 brush. And I'm using this to diffuse the edges of Addicted to Pretty. I really love to use a skin tone shade matte to diffuse the edges of my eyeshadow because I feel like it makes it look more blended. I'm gonna to mix together After Party 2020 and Pill Kitty. I'm putting this along my lower lid and use this Sigma Detail Brush. And I'm also gonna do it at the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna use the Sugar Pill Color Flora with the Wayne Goss 20 brush and I'm gonna spritz it with Urban Decay's All Nighter. I'm putting this on the center of my eye I'm going to use the Sugar Pill Color Brick Toast with another lid brush. This is an e.l.f. lid brush. I'm tapping Brick Toast on top of Flora and a little further out because I want to add lots of multicolored sparkle. I'm 
I'm using Ico Lash Alert Mascara in purple. I really love the Lash Alert formula. It's my second favorite mascara formula. The Thrive Cosmetics Mascara Formula is my first. I personally love the tube design. I think the tube design is very clever and I like the fact that it makes it easy to squeeze stuff out. I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion as my primer. I'm using shade gold. I also have the original, which is like an iridescent pinky violet. But I've been on a little bit of a gold kick lately. I'm trying a new to me foundation today, which was a request from Amy Amy here on YouTube. And it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. The shade I have is, is N0.5 Neutral Light. So I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna dab it around the center of my face. And then I'm just gonna start blending with this brush. So far, the shade match is looking really good. I almost feel like it um, might have a slight olive undertone to it, which works really well for my skin. My skin tone is a very fair neutral to cool yellow olive. So foundations that are muted and gray actually usually look really good on me because <laughs> I have very muted undertones. I'm using a little bit of that foundation under my eyes with my Kat uh, KVD concealer brush. I think this foundation looks excellent on me. I'm very impressed. I'm using Half Magic's Light Trap Highlighter and in Enter the Glow. I'm just going back over and tapping with my foundation brush to help blend in the highlighter. I'm absolutely a cheek fluff addict because I love the two blushes that I have from Half Magic Beauty. This is only drama and I'm going to apply this. It's a beautiful like purple berry color. I love how pink pigmented this is because it means it looks beautiful on a wider variety of skin tones. I'm able to tone it down to look, I think, great on my skin. I'm using my House Labs pencil in the shade Carve. I wish I had a more defined or more even lip line, but I don't. This is what nature gave me, so I'm going to make it work. I'm going to put on Sugar Pill Hijinx. I just had to um, reorder this color because my last one died. such a beautiful berry color. If you love deep berry pink that has like turquoise sparkles in it, this is your color. I'm putting my blush like right on top of my cheekbone. I'm going back with a little bit more of Enter the Glow. And I think that's my finished look. So let me pull my hair down, run my fingers through everything, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got my hair done and my jewelry on, I feel like I can show you this finished look up close. So let's look at the eyes first. I really, really love this combo with Flora and Brick Toast layered on top of the Sugar Pill Anniversary Palette. What do you think of these colors? And here's my full face of makeup. I made my hair wavy because I love having waves in my hair. I love it having like body and I feel like it especially shows off the color. Let me zoom out. Let me show you my outfit. So this is a cute little romper that Hot Topic sent me. It has pockets. I love how it looks. It feels, it's very, very comfortable. And as I mentioned, it is a romper, so it's one piece. I do have to wear a bra with it though because I have massive boobs and they need support. So this is the cute little Hot Topic romper that Hot Topic sent me. I like all the mystical occult symbols on it. I love that it has pockets. It's very soft. It was perfect for hanging out with Mickey and watching movies. Amaya says she loves my hair. Okay, no more, no more scratching. No more scratching, that hurts. All right, so this is my finished look from hair to makeup. Amaya says she likes it. What do you think? Please be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this Get Ready With Me. I hope that you're having an amazing week so far. Thank you so much for your support. So if you love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share. And let me know what you'd like to see from me next. Thank you so much for watching, beautiful creatures. I'll see you next time. Bye.